Hi everyone! Uh, welcome to Boulder Bookstore. My name is Stephanie and I'm the Marketing and Promotions Manager here at the store. And um, one of the things that is my responsibility is holiday preparation. So of course this is going to be just one of the craziest and strangest holidays that many of us have had, certainly the craziest we've had here at the store. So we've been working really hard to try and figure out, you know, there's all these things that we like to do during the holidays and trying to figure out different, safer ways that we can um, have those things available during this holiday season. So uh, we've been working really hard to try and make the online shopping experience um, really great this year. So uh, we've put together a really, what I think is a really wonderful online gift guide. We will be open to customers throughout the holidays from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you can certainly still come in, but um, I think a lot of people are still not going to feel super comfortable spending a large amount of time in the store or, you know, or even cornering a bookseller. So um, I thought I would uh, give you a brief, uh, a briefest, a briefish video that kind of goes over some tips that I use when I'm shopping for people on my list during the holidays. So. Uh, with that in mind, I've got there's a, a couple different things that I like to think about when I'm shopping for people on my list. So the first thing that I like to think about is what's their job? What is it that they do? Obviously this doesn't work if the person isn't super excited about their job. But uh, for example, my spouse, he um, he is an astrophysicist, but he also he, and he's an astrophysicist and he loves science and astronomy and all that sort of stuff. So in our holiday gift guide, uh, we've got several different sections. There's A4 nonfiction readers, so I'm going to go to nonfiction. And I'll see the natural world has nature, science, and animals, so I want to see science. So if I can click through there and I get to the science list, and I look through that, I'm going to see that there is this cool book that just came out called How to Astronaut, an Insider's Guide to Leaving Planet Earth by Terry Burtz. I think that's going to be perfect for him. So, uh, another thing that I think about is what do they like to do for fun? You know, do they, um, are they an outdoorsy sort of person? Are they really into knitting? You know, uh, what sort of TV shows do they watch or movies? So my example here is one of my best friends, Mike, he, he loves to watch movies and TV shows. He's particularly into, uh, you know, things that are, you know, fast paced, action packed, sci-fi, you know, spaceship battles, explosions, or like the Avengers with lots of, you know, superheroes fighting. So uh, in this case, I would want to look in fiction. So if I go to fiction here and see, oh, there's, I've got it divided by genres, so sci-fi. Looking through in the sci-fi list, there's a book here that looks like it's involving superheroes and supervillains fighting called Hench. I think that would be a good choice for Mike. So the third thing that I like to think about is uh, what is it that you do with this person? You know, um, do you go on hikes with them? Are there is there a particular kind of movie that whenever this is coming out in theaters, you think, oh, I've got to call that friend and go see this movie with them. So my example for this is uh, my mom. Every two weeks we get together and we go to her place for dinner and she loves to cook and she loves cooking new things. So she kind of always wants to have a new recipe. So I'm thinking, a new cookbook would be perfect for her. So in the nonfiction section, we've got making things, and we've got a foodie section, and then I go to this foodie section and I'll see, okay, so Ina Garten has a new cookbook out called Modern Comfort Food, and I know she loves Ina Garten, new cookbook. I think that's gonna be really perfect. So uh, my final tip is uh, thinking about uh, what, you, what interactions have you had with this person in the past few months? What have they told you about what they're doing? Especially during lockdown, have they told you that they've, uh, you know, just gotten into gardening? Um, have they discovered some, uh, some new series of books? Or have they, you know, told you about uh, books that they're already excited about? So, uh, my Uncle Bob uh, texted me a few months ago back in May because Michael Connolly had a new book coming out called Fair Warning and he texted me about how excited he was for the new Michael Connolly book. So uh, I know from that that he likes mystery, so if I go into fiction uh, and uh, back into the, the genres, into mysteries and thrillers, I will see that Michael Connelly has another new book coming out um, in November. So 
once again, it works pretty well. So those are my four main tips for thinking about uh, the people that you want to be shopping for. Um, and a note on buying for kids. Ask the parents what the kids like. So um, my sister's kids both had birthdays in the past couple of months. And uh, when the birthdays were coming up, she sent out an email to friends and family, anyone who she knew was going to buy gifts for the kids, and said, here's what the kids are into right now. My sister said that uh, Wesley, who's just turned five, is very into chapter books. So in our uh, in our kids section, we've got you know oh there's a specific chapter you know for little ones you know zero to six there's a chapter book section and I think most of most of these would work really perfectly. But uh, Princess in Black, there's a new Princess in Black on this list. I've given him Princess in Black before, and I know he's loved it. So I think that one is going to work really well. And Ellie, she just turned three. So I'm going to stay in little and go to picture books. And, you know, she said that uh, Ellie is really into princess dresses and dressing up right now. So I'm going to look at this list and see Julian at the wedding. So that's probably going to, that's going to have some really great outfits. That's going to be really fun and fabulous. And I think that's going to be perfect for Ellie. And then another thing that parents uh, can do to help their families shop during the holidays is take advantage of the wish list function on our website. Every book has, there's a little buy button and next to it is add to wish list. So you can go over that with your kids or we'll just pick out books you think your kids would like. Send that wish list to grandparents, send it to aunts and uncles, send it to whoever you think is gonna wanna shop for your kids and it makes it easy on you and easy on them. They know exactly what to get. And of course, if you've looked through this gift guide and you still feel like you haven't found the perfect gift, you know, we're going to be here in the store, so you can come to the store, you can call us, you can reach out to us on our social media, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, Facebook, um, and, you know, we'll be very happy to help you try to find the perfect gift. So we hope that our online gift guide helps to make your holiday shopping uh, fun and easy, and, and we've worked hard on it, so it, we've got lots of selections, so hopefully it'll fulfill all of your shopping needs. Thank you so much for your uh, support and your book purchases this holiday season. Bye.